Hey everyone and welcome to They Are Billions. So, They Are Billions is a steampunk strategy survival game, which is currently in beta preview. But even though the game isn't quite done yet, it's already pretty damn good. I played a fair bit on my own, just to familiarize myself with the game, so I know how everything works. There's only one game mode right now, which is survival, where your goal is to survive until day 100. Or until day, let's say, 80 if you change difficulty settings. There are two different difficulty settings that you can change, which is population and game duration. Infected population can range from very low to high, and game duration can range from 80 to 150. Longer game makes it easier, because you have more time between the waves to prepare. Score factor can go from 10%, with very low population and 150 duration, to 320%, with high population and 80 days duration. We are going to play on the default, which is 100. There are also several different map types, but you have to unlock the other three by beating the game on, let's say, 100% score factor, 110% and then 130%. So, let's get started, shall we? The game isn't very hard to learn, but it's definitely hard to master. It's not an easy game, I'll tell you as much, at least on the default difficulty settings. So, every map is randomly generated, so each new game you start will have a different starting location and different surroundings, which will often force you to adapt your strategy. This looks pretty solid so far. So, let's pause and talk about a few things. First, resources. The first resource we'll need is wood. Wood is sort of tier 1. Then you got stone, which can be used for more advanced buildings that you have to research. Then we got iron, and finally oil. We also have population and workers, so we can see colonists and workers. You can get more of those by building tents. Then tents can be upgraded to cottages, stone houses and so on. As you can see, we'll get plus 4 colonists and plus 2 workers from the tent. Then we got food. Food is needed for your population, obviously and energy. Energy is used by a lot of buildings and defenses. Order, so, first thing we need to do is explore a little bit. This right here is stone, so that's quite nice. We have one literally right next to our command center, which is not always the case. Same with wood, you don't always start with a forest, pretty much right on top of your command center. And this right here is iron, and we got zombies, as you can see. A lot of zombies. And we got some resources we can pick up, that is quite useful. We will definitely do that. And now we can pause and build a few tents. We are going to need a lot of tents, because we'll need a lot of population pretty much constantly. So we'll build as many as we can initially. Then there's one more concept, which is energy range. So these highlighted tiles indicate where you can actually build. And in order to extend that range, you have to build Tesla Towers. You can see how exactly it's going to be extended based on the placement. And oh, we got more resources over here, that's nice. Let's place one on this side. And this right here is oil. The lake is also going to be quite useful because we can use it for fishermen's hut. And one more thing we have to choose, which is our mayor. So, you get a choice between one of the two mayors, and they will have random bonuses. So, these bonuses that you can see right here will be different in every single game. Right now, we have Command Center Energy Transfer Radius plus 4, and Command Center Watch Range, and the other one will give us plus free food from Hunter Cottage. These are not exactly impressive. I think we'll go for plus free food supply from Hunter Cottage, but I've seen much more useful bonuses. Sometimes you get a more advanced building that you can place for free, mostly defensive building. That can be pretty damn good. Right, we got some gold and we can place more Tesla towers. One to the west, so let's say over here, and one to the north. 
this will likely be a choke point where we'll need a wall. Yep, there's a lake nearby that is quite useful. Yeah, this is going to be a wall right here. Nice. Okay then. And we'll need a sawmill right away. Let's have a look. We can get 14, 15. Attention. Completed. Your resource generation changes based on the placement, so this will be best. 15 wood. Any Looks orders? good. Okay. Let's explore a little bit more. See if we can find okay. something interesting. This looks like a good location for a wall. Okay. More iron down here. Let's go back. We know our surroundings, roughly. We'll probably want more than one sawmill right away. To get more wood. It should be doable. Okay. We can place one on the west side. Great. We might need one more Tesla tower though. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll need one more Tesla tower. That's fine. Yes, tell me. But be quick. Let's kill some of these zombies. Because you can't actually place any buildings if there are enemies nearby. Which means that if you want to expand, you have to clear the zombies first. Here's the sawmill, it's already working. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Let's clear some of these guys as well, because we'll want a wall in this general area for sure. Next thing we'll need is food, because food is needed for more population. We can build a fisherman hut. That's right here. So 13, 14. Yep, sounds good. 14 food. That will do. And we need to wait for wood. We'll place one more Tesla tower and then a sawmill right here. Then we'll have two good sawmills. We will need a lot of wood, so... That's why we are building two. It's a pretty decent start so far. We have some decent choke points. We have iron pretty close. We have two sources of stone, we have a lot of forests, we have a lake. Alright, more tents for more population. You are gonna pay me for this, we'll right? just keep clearing these zombies, it's fine. Why? Are you sure? And can clear some of these guys as well. Do you need me? I don't think we can explore much further. Probably not too much, no. Alright, Tesla Tower. So close enough to the forest, but not too close. Let's see. Yeah, this style should be good enough. I want our range to reach the rocks on the left. We, we will probably need another Tesla Tower in this area. Okay. So, one over here. Good enough. We will also need energy, so might as well get started on a meal right away. We'll build it in the corner, like so. And a few more tents. Definitely won't hurt. Back up a little bit. Yeah, we lost one ranger. Need to be careful about that. I think he's going to need a little bit of help over there. Yep, he is definitely going to need help. Let's go help him out then. Oh, yep, one is attacking the tower. Now we have to repair it. There is a repair all option down here. So that's what we'll use. Yeah, we should definitely be a little bit more careful here. Don't die on me. He's fine, but down to 12 health. We will need barracks as soon as possible to recruit more troops, or soldiers center in this case. That's what it's called. 
We've done enough exploration, now we'll focus on actually defending our area. So, just patrol back and forth. Okay, we're fine. Just need to repair. Repairing isn't very expensive, but it takes time. How about we build a quarry, because we will also need stone. We can't do that yet, we need 30 wood. Alright. Let's wait for the repairs and then we'll build the second sawmill. Since we will need wood pretty much constantly. 13. Yep, that's good enough, that will do. And let's patrol. Maybe something like this. Okay. Good enough. Might want to build some walls. Yep, one zombie coming here. Yeah. Okay, hey, get back here. Slightly annoying. He's dead. Let's send these archers on patrols. So one guy will stay on this side. And the other guy will stay on this side. That's more reasonable. Alright. We got slowed down a little bit, but it's fine. Now, more food. From the looks of it. Or is that just the repair? No, it's repaired. We do need more food. Let's see, can we place another fisherman cottage? Because they can't be too close to each other. Yep, we can. 13. Let's place it a little bit closer, but 12 food. Then we'll be able to place one more over here. And it won't be too far away. At least it shouldn't be too far away. There's the second sawmill and let's maybe start building some walls. One more Tesla tower over here. Although, I don't think it's necessary. Should probably build it though. Alright, let's build it. We'll get more space. Yeah, something like this. Good enough. And we can start building some walls. Or a quarry. Or... Hold on. Soldier center. Yeah, that requires 20 stone. We definitely do need a quarry right away. We can get free stone. That will be enough. Okay. We can place another one over here later. But one will do for now. We don't need more than that. They are trying to break into the buildings. Order, sir. How did these guys get through here? What? Okay, apparently that soldier wasn't good enough. I think he will destroy the Tesla Tower. Hey, come back here. No, it's fine. Yep, we have to repair it. Oh well. Whatever, we'll repair it. There, done. Don't go too far. Patrol. Looks fine. We need walls ASAP. But we also need the soldier center. And more workers. Let's place a few more tents. Let's say in this area. Like that. There's still space. Alright, that leaves us with 34 wood. Let's place a wall. Let's say over here on the south side. At least we'll get started on it. It will be a double wall eventually. And I will leave a little bit of space in front of it. You'll see why in the future. No, not quite like that. You can pause the game anytime you want, so even though it's real time, it's not really real time. At least it's pausable real time. You can pause anytime you want and think about your moves. There. We'll place the gate later. The gate is slightly weaker, 
than actual wall sections, and we have no need to leave from here right now. Okay, looks good. Now we will need some more towers. Yeah, I still want one over here, so let's just place it right away. And patrol. And one on the west side. We will have to clear these zombies, I think. They might be a little bit too close. Yeah, as you can see, there are enemies too close to this location. We'll have to clear at least some of them. And yeah, one more tower on this side too. We will need it. Okay, good enough. Let's start killing them. We are getting stone. We need 20 stone to build soldier center. That's going to be our next priority. The first swarm will come around day 13, because that's mostly what it's about. You have to prepare to defend against large waves of undead. And the first wave will come around day 13. If you're not prepared for that, you are kind of screwed. I'll put it that way. We need good defenses before we get to that point. So let's clear some of these and then we'll build a wall. This should be enough now. Okay, pause for a moment. Yep, this is enough. I'll leave some space in front of the wall. You'll see why once we get some research done. Here, that will do. We will also build some towers which extend range of your units, but not yet. First we need walls. Then we need another one here. So. That will do. And there. Now he can patrol here instead. That will save his time. Good enough. We just need one more wall. And our initial area will be secure. Or at least secure-ish. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call this secure, but it will be walled off. Okay, I think we cleared enough. Let's have a look. Also, maybe place a few more tents. No, we need food now. Fine, fisherman cottage. Yep, we can get one more. Good enough. And we can also place hunter cottage. That should be pretty good. Let's see, we can get how much? 15, 15. 17 over here. Okay, 17. That will do. Hold on, is it actually possible to go through here somehow? Or is this actually blocked? Let's make sure that this doesn't lead anywhere. No, I don't think it leads anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Carry on then. So we need eight more stone. Then we can build soldier center. We are capped on wood, so let's put it to good use. More walls. This is going to be enough. Yeah, we can always expand a little bit more in the future. Because we will need more space than this eventually. It's just that early on we don't need as much. There, he's down. We might as well include the gate. Because there's iron very close. So we will want to gather that. But not yet. Alright, looks good. Now we need that soldier center ASAP. Just need more stone. Let's grab a few more tents. We can build them over here. 
We will need a lot of tents, but eventually we'll get a chance to upgrade them to cottages and then stone houses. But before that happens, we'll need quite a lot of tents to get more population. You can patrol back and forth. Captain Wood. All right, we can place a few towers. They extend range of our units, so one on the left because a few zombies might attack us from the west. We could place one here. It should be able to reach both the left side and the right side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will be able to reach both. So one tower here. And one over here. And then a few more at our other locations. This will do. Now we wait for soldier center. Just two more stone, literally. Now, as a general rule, we want to place most buildings on this brown rock. Because grassland can be used for farms. Farms are one of the early techs you unlock. And they generate a lot more food than these buildings, the fisherman cottage and the hunter cottage. We get like 15, 16, maybe 17 from these. But a farm can generate up to 64 food from just one single farm. But it has to be placed on a grassland. So that's why we should be saving grassland for that. Anyway, soldier center. This is fine. Okay then, so now we'll be able to recruit rangers. And if we get iron, also soldiers. You go into the tower. And maybe one more tower on this side. Here. Alright, good enough. You also go into the tower. He should have enough range. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, he has more than enough range to attack the zombies. One more on the left side. That will do. And we are mostly secure. Now, the next thing we'll need is the workshop. Workshop is where you do research. We need 40 wood and yeah, we need more workers. Like I said, we'll need a lot of tents. Let's place a few more. Yep, that will do. Might as well get more food preemptively because we are going to need it. Hunter cottage. Yep, this looks reasonable. 15. I don't think we can reach that zombie over there. Let's move. In that case. And now we can start recruiting some units. We'll just recruit rangers for now, since we don't have iron just yet. But expanding to that iron deposit will be our priority. Now he can kill some of these zombies from inside the tower. That's going to be quite nice. Now, rangers do use workers. Just something to keep in mind. We are capped on wood again. How's that workshop? I don't think we have enough workers just yet. Oh, no, we do. Okay, so the workshop should also be somewhere in this area. I would say this is fine. And as soon as it's finished, we'll be able to do some research. Research mostly requires gold. There's the ranger. Let's just send him to one of the empty towers. And we'll get more rangers. Pretty good start so far. But it will get much, much harder. Right now, there's nothing really happening. We are mostly building up our initial base and killing some zombies that are getting in the way. But the waves get pretty crazy. Let's just say that the title screen that you saw at the start of this video 
is fairly accurate. <laughs> From what I read, the engine can support something like 20,000 units all at once. So, yeah. Here's another ranger, so just send him up here. That will do. Yep, now we need more workers. So, more tents. Cottage will definitely be one of our first research items but also farms. Also, one more thing to keep in mind, that once you are capped on a resource, or really any moment you want, you can actually pause buildings and free some of your workers. I can actually pause the sawmill, which will give me more workers to use for other things. You can do that. You just need to remember to resume, because they will not resume on their own. There's the workshop, so here are all the research items we got. We got a lookout tower, which extends our range. We got stakes trap. Stakes are pretty good. It's basically the reason why I left some space in front of the wall, in range of the Tesla tower. Then we got the cottage, which is upgrade of a tent. We got farms, which I already talked about. We got the market, which can be used to buy and sell resources. It sells excess resources automatically, but you can also buy resources. Then we got Stone Workshop, which is pretty much the next tier of research. We got a Sniper Soldier. And we got a Great Ballista. Great Ballista is a pretty damn good defense, especially early on. So we'll probably want a few of those. But the first thing we should probably research is the Cottage. I would say so, yeah because we'll run out of space for tent spam. And the cottage is quite nice. Then we'll likely get the farm. Also, we are going to need more energy. Yep, let's build a mill. Now we can pause the sawmill temporarily and build a mill. Let's say in one of these corners. Uh, hold on. Maybe not on the grassland. Yeah, here will do. Yeah, that looks decent enough. Now, what about that iron? We need a few more rangers. Then clear the zombies and expand to the iron. It shouldn't be too hard. We'll just need another wall. That's the general idea. How about we place another tent or two? We still have some space, maybe not too close to the wall, because we want some space for actual defenses over there. But in this area we'll be fine. Almost capped on wood already. We can just build another layer of walls which is generally a good idea. In fact, I think we're going to do that. Especially in areas like this. Because that only requires a few sections. And we can grab another Tesla tower here. Once we get the workers. So... One of these tiles. That should be fine. research, almost done. Before we build farms though, we can get at least one more hunter cottage. Over here. Yeah, that's 13. That will do. And resume. Up to 25 stone. And we can recruit more rangers. There's the cottage. So now we can start upgrading. One cottage requires 4 food, 2 energy, 12 wood, and 90 gold. Yep, let's get started on that. And we already need more food, as you can see, which is why I'm building that cottage. Next up, we can research farms. I think so. We could also go for the Great Ballista. 
700 gold. Yeah, let's unlock the Great Ballista. It's a pretty damn good defense. It will definitely come in handy. Especially since we already built the mill. To get more energy. There's the Tesla tower. Now we can build more walls over here. There. That will do. That will make it harder for them to get through. We can do the same on this side if we want to. There's the cottage. So that's much better. And another one. There's the ranger. We'll get a few more and then send them south in this direction to clear the area around the iron. We will definitely need more than one. We don't want a soldier because I don't want to attract all of these guys. However, we could build a great ballista and then try to attract all of them. Make them attack the wall. That's a possibility. It's actually a pretty decent strategy. Just build a ballista and try to draw all the zombies towards the wall. We are about to finish researching it. So perhaps we'll do just that. Almost done. There. Let's start stakes. And there's the ballista. It requires 500 gold, 20 wood, 2 energy and 2 workers. It's day 10. We got roughly 3 more days before the first swarm comes. Let's start killing these with the rangers. They don't really make any noise, so they shouldn't attack us all at once. Looking good so far. What else can we build? Second quarry? I don't think it's necessary just yet. Once we get stone tech, we will definitely build a second one. But not needed just yet. We should just upgrade the cottages because we will need a lot of workers. Let's upgrade a few. Yep, yeah, food already. That will require a farm. That's going to be our next research item. There's the next ranger. Just send him here. Come on, hurry up. Are we there yet? You are gonna pay me for this, right? What do you want? So we'll just place another wall. Like this. Slightly further away. What's our range right now? Yeah, we'll need another Tesla tower for sure. But first let's clear the zombies. We got the trap. So next up, we'll research farms. Here are the traps. We need 3 wood and 30 gold. Now, you do have to rebuild the traps, because they can get destroyed, but they are pretty good. They do some really nice damage, and they do AoE damage to any zombies that are on top of them, which is very, very useful. They aren't enough on their own, but it's a nice extra defense. A lot of zombies in this area. Well, we have to kill all of them if we want that iron. And we do want the iron. So, more stakes, because we have quite a lot of wood. Is there enough space here? Yep, there is. Alright. That will do for now. And maybe a few more rangers once we get the gold. Keep clearing. Hey, where do you think you're going? Sneaky bastard. It's a stealth zombie. <laughs> Clearly. Speaking of stealth zombies, all it takes to lose really is to have one zombie slip through. Especially early on, before you build any walls. 
if they start attacking your tents, you pretty much lose. So you need to be pretty careful. Alright, looking much better now. Let's keep two rangers on the north side and two rangers on the south side. That seems like a better idea. Alright, there's the farm. We can build one right away. That's going to be 64 food. Doesn't really matter if he's going to be here or here. Not really. Here you go. That will be enough for a while. And our next research... We can research the lookout tower. Or a market. Market is quite useful, as you might have guessed. You can buy resources and you can also sell excess resources. More specifically, it sells excess resources automatically. Which is pretty nice. And then we'll likely research stone workshop. We have a lot of stone nearby. So getting stone tech ASAP is definitely a good idea. Let's build the Tesla tower. Let's have a look. Yeah, like this. We don't need the stone to be inside our walls, but we need the iron. Back up slightly. I think we cleared enough. How about more rangers? Yep. The farm is done. Let's upgrade a few more cottages. It's day 12. So soon. We will get a notification which direction they will be attacking from. So we will know which part of our defenses we need to strengthen. But you're not always 100% sure which exact wall they will attack. You just get the rough direction. So let's say from the north, from the south, from the east, and so on. I think we cleared enough over here. Maybe kill a few more. Alright, let's build that wall, shall we? I think we have enough time. Let's have a look. Yeah, it can start on this tile. Leave some space for stakes. Okay, that's good enough. And go back in. We don't need a gate just yet. We'll just build walls only. We can always place a gate later. It's fine. And I'm not removing the other wall, because if this one falls, we can always fall back. To our second line of defense. There's no need to remove it. And we'll build a quarry right away, to start getting iron. With iron, we can recruit some soldiers, which are much better. Quarry, we need wood. Alright, no problem. Yep, zombie swarm detected near the colony from the east. So, we might want to go there. We'll leave some very basic defenses in other areas and send everyone else east. Now, east could mean through here or through here. We don't know for sure just yet, but we will get an indication on the minimap once they actually show up. We might have enough time to place a great ballista. So I'm thinking we should place it over here. I don't think this wall will have any problems. Alright, let's place a great ballista here and maybe more stakes. Some stakes in the front of the wall. That should be fine. They aren't coming just yet. Alright. I think it will finish in time. 
Only one way to find out, I suppose. Leave the tower for now. Until we're sure which direction they are coming from. I don't think this is it. Actually, yeah, infected swarm one. So they will attack from the northeast. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, they are coming from the northeast. Alright, let's place some more stakes then. Just to be sure we won't have any problems. Enemies too close to this location. Yeah, whatever. A double wall, a line of stakes and some units should be fine. Yeah, they are coming, as you can see. The ballista is almost done. There, it will start firing now. Looks good. So, let's get ready. Can we grab any more units? Yes, we got one more. Get your ass over here. And let's build that quarry, shall we? We can get how much? Five. Yep, that's good enough. It doesn't get much better than that. So into the towers you go. Off you go. They are almost here. Let's place some more stakes before they arrive. They are just out of range right now. We just barely have enough time to finish the stakes. Yep, they are coming. Here they come. The first wave isn't that big, but it gives you a general idea what to expect in the future. They get much, much bigger in the future. It gets really rough later on, I'll put it that way. And they're dead. Pretty much. Yep. We defended successfully. None of our stakes got destroyed. Now we can spread our defenses again. So we leave one in each tower, send other guys to other towers. You go this way. You go this way. And west. Alright, what's next? Let's have a look. We can research stone workshop, that's definitely a good idea. 500 gold, let's do that then. And I think I'm going to make a cut here continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.